Hey, welcome back. I'm Paul. Today's question comes from Dennis in the United Kingdom, as in England. Well, could be, I guess doesn't have to be England. I'm guessing he's in England. Um, as someone who's retired, I've also downsized my listening accommodations. I now have to have my speakers on bookshelves. Yeah, I get it. Do you know of any high quality bookshelf speakers that are genuinely bookshelf speakers, i.e. small, that can be put on a bookshelf and not just called bookshelf speakers? In a hi-fi mag I read, the best bookshelf speaker is the X, but don't place it on a bookshelf. <laughs> Thanks in anticipation. Well, you know, there's, there's always going to be a problem placing any speaker onto a bookshelf because Depending on the bookshelf, you might have it, uh, it might be in a box, it might be surrounded by stuff, but, but I, I think the essence of your question is you, you want high quality, high performance sound out of a small speaker that can be placed on a bookshelf without giving up too much. And so I have several recommendations for you. One is the, gosh, I, I should come more prepared. The, the Kef, the, were, are they the Omnis? The, the one that the uh, Unis, Uniqs? Anyway, the little Kef bookshelf speakers, they have one driver. They are, they are amazing. They're really, really good. But the other one that I can show you is this, the Harbeth. Now this, this comes from the UK, and these are very small speakers, as you can see. I mean, here's, here's a water glass. And these speakers are, are, just to use one of your terms, bloody amazing. Um, they're really good. Darren Myers, who is our hardware engineer and the Stellar engineer, this is his office. And he's continually showing me these speakers, and I, I, I'm in love with them. I mean, th these are labored, they're not cheap. Now, I think they're like $2,500 a pair. So uh, it's not for the faint of heart, but. I'd say, given their performance, they're worth every penny. These are really good speakers. So the, I don't know the guy's name, maybe it's Harbeth, that, that does these, but he, he computer simulates them and then spends a year in the listening room tweaking and changing until they sound right. Now that's my kind of guy. A, a perfect chef, if you will, who tastes and smells and makes sure that the final product is exactly what he wants and is proud of it and puts his name on it. And that speaker right there is what I would recommend to you. If you can afford 2500 bucks, then get some decent amplification and just pay attention to, because amplification is, well, it's not as important as the speakers, but it's awfully important. So if you took these wonderful speakers and you hooked it up to some craps electronics, um, you would be very disappointed. You would have wasted your $2,500. So don't do that. Don't, don't go halfway or half in. Make sure that when you hook it up, you've got good electronics, some decent cabling, and, and a decent source. But all that said, the next thing you want to do is just be a little careful about what you place around the speakers. If you have a, a bookshelf situation, you want to put them up, you might be better served by putting books around them because books, because of their varying depths, make really good baffles. So if I were doing that and I have very limited space, I would place books to the sides of my speakers that creates sort of a wall. I, I would not want to have it to go wrap around bouncing off the wall behind and you know but but try it both ways you can absolutely do it so that's the best advice I got on getting a pair of bookshelf speakers thanks a lot for asking and I'll talk to you tomorrow bye